Hey guys, Brickett here, and welcome back to another LEGO City update. Now, I've had lots of requests asking if they can actually see the full city, because obviously this has been going now for around way past 10 weeks, so a lot of you haven't actually seen it all come together as one whole thing, so I thought I'd jump in and show this week as kind of a city tour, because also it'll be the last time you'll get to see the city like this, and I'll explain why after you've seen it all. Okay, so here is the first overview of Brickington. First and last actually, because this will be moving. But all this stuff will stay, just obviously in different layouts to fit the new room. But as you can see, that is the full city. So I'll go through what I've done and the reasons why I'm moving. In fact, we'll start with over here. Obviously this stuff needs to be built, but I've kind of got this guy working here and this guy kind of, you know, just to make it look more like a, an actual site. This one I was going to put here, it's not there at the moment, I was just kind of looking at ideas and thought that kind of looked quite good there. So um, I do like this build, I do want to get kind of my bus stations to kind of all look similar though because I have another bus station over here as well. But we'll go to the latest update which was this mock that was made in the haunted house. Really really cool, sorry the haunted high school. This is the hidden side so it does have all hidden side features as well which is kind of cool. And I do really like that, I think that's really, really cool. So I'm gonna keep it as it is, I think. I'll probably end up modifying this at some point and I'm gonna do the interior as well of this at some point because I don't really like the interior. We've also got the two main characters about to enter the high school to kind of sort out the ghosts as well as the little ghost dog as well. But as you can see here, this is the reason why I am changing. As you can see, this is right on the edge. These fall off all the time as well as the gaps are really noticeable here now because of the, uh, the way I'm using these tables and I just don't have enough room to put bigger tables in this room. So that's why I'm moving to another room. So next we have the uh, the Birch Bookshop. This is the latest modular building. We've got the uh, road sweeper guy here sweeping up a banana on the floor and this guy going to visit his parents that live in there. Then we have the guy from the bookshop who's going to woo the lady who runs the store as well as a little kid in the front with his plane. And obviously I've kept this kind of similar to how it is in the actual, how it was built. Then I've created this little alleyway at the back here of the diner. You have this lady running from this thief who's about to mug her. But up above, the new Batman that I got from the 4 Plus set is waiting with his new bat wing, kind of the new style of cape. I think that looks really cool and I love this kind of old retro Tim Burton looking Batman. So I think he looks really cool up there. If you actually look, you can see him just about to kind of kick him, kick his butt. Then we have the, uh, the bus stop. This comes with this, uh, actually it looks like someone's, the person's fallen over inside the bus, but this is the... Uh, that bus stop and the bus there, I really like this bus, I think it's really, really nice. Very big bus though, so I might make a modification and make this a little bit smaller. We've got the, um, the grandpa and her, his uh, grandson, granddaughter, sorry, waiting at the bus stop. Kind of modified all this, so it's on the side of the diner, and this guy waiting to commute with his dog. And then we have the, uh, the extra lights here, the traffic lights, which I think looks kind of cool. Then over here we have the, the car that comes with the diner and the guy putting money in the, uh, the ticket booth because he's going to go make his million pound record and he's a bit late. There's his uh, manager looking out for him. We have the Batmobile over here just kind of waiting. Obviously Batman's already gone to the diner but that's his car at the moment. I do want to make the new Batman, the, uh, the 1989 Batmobile that was kind of minifig scale so I need to bricklink order that. Then we have one of the cars from the latest tuning garage and that kind of looked cool so I just had it over here. This is all kind of not got any tiles on it at the moment and that is definitely something I'm going to be doing in the future. I've now got a massive order of tiles if you saw my latest brick haul, so that's pretty cool. So I'm going to go and tile these when I move them. Then over here we have the park that I made so far. I haven't really done any modifications to this. I think I might have added a little bit more here, but it's all pretty standard. You've got the lady painting the fence over here, someone mowing the lawn. In fact, someone wanted me to do put her in front of this bit so it looks like she's actually mowing it. There we go. So it looks like she's actually mowing the grass. The reason that's there is actually to keep these two together. So I will probably put some more green around here so it looks like she's mowing the lawn, which could look pretty cool. But this will get a proper overhaul when it gets moved because I might not have this here anyway. It might get moved slightly when it gets put into the new area. Then we just have the train here, just one of the trains. As, a, as you can see, I've now run into an issue of the train can't actually go around the corner because of how I put this park. So again, this will be all fixed when it gets moved upstairs. As you can see here, this is Ron because he's waiting at platform nine and three quarters with the secret door. This is actually from the Hogwarts train. And then this is all modified. 
with the Disney train station, but I've converted it into just my station. So it's a station at the top, it's got the station guy outside. And I think that looks really cool. I really like this. And I got this for a lot cheaper just getting the station on its own without the, um, the inclusion of all the minifigures in the train. So I'm using this with a passenger train or two of the passenger trains. We have the taxi rank here. I wanna sort this out and make these more this kind of tiling instead of this and I've got them now. So that's gonna be done when it gets moved, which will be pretty cool. And we have the coffee shop over there, which we'll go to in a second. Over here, we have the 24 hour service lorry, which again came with the set with the, uh, the car garage, which we'll get to in a second. As well as I have Ron driving around in his Ford, which I thought kind of looked really cool. I like these little kind of random throwbacks to sets. So there is Ron. We also have the hidden side buggy there. So I need to sort out because I've actually got two of the same guy kind of hanging around and we also have the other hidden side girl over there as well so I need to sort that out as well as the Porsche and we have a coffee stand here randomly for some reason at the moment this bit obviously it's a bit annoying because I've only got one set of modulars but with the new setup I can actually change that so that's going to be pretty cool I'm going to have two modulars now so um, because I have more table room so that'll be a lot better in the future and this will actually be a little area instead which I can sort out okay so coming around the other side of the train station here is the coffee shop mock that we did, as well as the wall there. Like I said, this bit's really awkward, so I'm definitely gonna be sorting this out when I get a chance to. We've got all the people kind of eating and enjoying their food for the morning and stuff, as well as the bike rack and the kind of directional thing there, which is pretty cool. This guy is heading to his Joe's garage over here, which is the corner garage. I've still got these left here because there was a news agent there at one point, but that's now moved, so. I'll definitely be needing to put something there in the future. If you guys will let me know what you kind of think should go here, that'd be really, really cool. Then moving along next to Corner Garage, we have Assembly Square, my favorite modular building. This is absolutely awesome, and it's just been kept completely as it was in the box. Absolutely love this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, and it really does go well there to create this really nice kind of scene. Absolutely love that. We've got some cars. This car's got no one driving in it at the moment. <laughs> the Lego uh, lorry. We've got a guy delivering pizza and a police vehicle going past as well. Then over here we have the TV6 Plus car in the corner because they were interviewing the fish and chip shop owner there, but he seems to have gone away for some reason. So this was the start of my mini mock kind of area, which was, this was from the three in one pet corner, which is converted into a fish and chip shop. And then we have a custom sewing store above it with the donut cafe here, people enjoying some food, as well as that was a toy shop now converted into a newsstand. This all still needs to be tiled, and like I said, I've got a load of tiles now. Still don't think anywhere near enough, but I've got some to kind of start tidying this up. They have the two kids heading to the news agents, probably to get Pokemon cards or some little minifigure packets. You have the stairs that lead up to this custom gallery here that I made, which actually has a Banksy inside, if you can see that, as well as some pretty cool stuff. And it's actually two-story, and we have a uh, some more art up at the top as well, and the famous banana on the wall as well. Pretty, pretty cool. And then at the bottom, I've just left it to be the pet store, and I've just changed it a little bit. So there's rabbits in the front. We've got some custom fish tanks and uh, lizard tanks in the back as well. So if you haven't seen that video, go check that out. Uh, I made a custom uh, lizard tank, which looks pretty cool. Then we have the ice cream truck and the pizza van over here. You know, the pizza uh, and ice cream for the lunchtime rush, which is pretty cool. No one's here at the moment. But there are some people getting ice cream, so that's pretty nice. And then over here we have the new 3-in-1 toy shop, which I've left, which I really, really like the look of. I need to sort out that. That, in the moment, is just an apartment. I did want to turn it into a comic book store, so that might happen in the future. And then we have the ride here, which still works, but I've mirrored all of this, just like the toy shop itself. And that still actually moves, which is pretty cool. You've got the granddad putting the money in the coin and the kid looking a bit jarring. He's probably had too much goes on there. Then you've got these kids here leaving the Lego shop and we've got the new brick from Series 20 holding the minifigure packs. We've got a guy delivering Lego in massive truckloads, it's pretty cool. And then we've got this guy who's obviously was a break dancer and is a bit now upset that he broke his leg, but you see him seeing the new Series 20 break dancer on the street, which is pretty cool. We also have the Series 20 um, drone boy here as well. And this has all been modified inside, so it's got the sale sign from the other toy shop as well as some cool things in there as well. So if you haven't seen that video, go check that one out as well. And then this is next to the car garage, which is a recent kind of remock that I did. So the service center is now over here with the guy from the hot rod going in to get his car sorted. And there's the hot rod there, ready to go. 
This has all been modified so it can actually go up the ramp here and actually get serviced. And then you'll be able to see the car getting serviced through the glass window at the back, which I thought was pretty cool. And we have the, uh, the lady who's working on the hot rod heading into work as well to go and sort out the hot rod. And then we have the kind of secondhand dealer kind of selling this, this lady that hot offer 50% off this tiny mini car. And his caravan is over here as well for now. And then at the top, I actually modified this to have the mini showroom car because these guys are celebrating mini for some reason, which I just think is really cool. I love mini, so it's my one of my favorite things. And at the moment, I also have a helicopter for TV6 Plus on there for some reason. I think I need to actually have a TV6 Plus actual recording center somewhere, especially seeing as um, I really like kind of the BBC and stuff, so I kind of want to make my own TV6 Plus kind of recording studio. I think that'd be really, really cool. There's a Lego store again, and this is the train track that runs around. This is me messing around with kind of potentially doing a tunnel. I know it doesn't look very nice. I was just kind of seeing how many bricks I had, and I have way not enough bricks, so I need to kind of sort that out and do that. And that is it. This then goes back to the roundabout, which goes back to the haunted house. So that is it at the moment. So um, again, I do have enough track, but because I had to move the tables around, I actually lost the table in front which made it a lot harder to work on, but I now have ordered a lot more tables and I've made a lot more room by moving into the new area upstairs. So this is gonna slowly get moved up and I'm gonna work on each bit again, doing modifications and things. So if you guys have any ideas of what certain things should get done, I'll probably start off with this area over here, start putting the train station back and all of this and then moving over and then this might actually then get moved so this is just one line because I do have a lot more room upstairs I believe so we'll see how that goes okay so that's it for the Lego City tour hope you guys enjoyed it but you will no longer see this city as that anymore and that's because I've been very lucky that Steph aka Mrs Brickinit is allowing me to move the Lego City upstairs so that means that instead of having two and a half tables which I have at the moment and I'm really struggling with I'm going to have at least six with a massive gap in the middle where I can put underwater scenes and stuff like that as well. So it's gonna be absolutely awesome and I cannot wait to start doing that. So that'll be next week's city update, starting to move this all around and tidying up what I'm doing whilst I'm up there. So it's gonna be absolutely awesome and I couldn't have done it without you guys and the support. You've convinced Mrs. Brickinit to allow me to do it because you guys really like the city updates and it's just absolutely awesome. So thank you for supporting the channel and there's gonna be lots and lots more awesome city updates coming in the future. If you enjoyed the vid, then if you haven't already, please like and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. And as always, keep bricking it.